presentation um jeff has a show and i have a show and it just so happened that um this season the season that we're shooting it anyway i don't know if this is a rerun or not um <laughs> it's a uh, november 2011 right now if anyone's wondering but uh yeah jeff and i has a show right after mine the way that it's scheduled so um we decided to make an hour-long show, and he was cool enough to sit down and talk to me about uh, my album. So you guys are gonna get a first listen right now. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Karen Fetter's Music Mania. I'm here with my very special guest, Jeff Indyke, and we're gonna tell you and let you get a first listen to my new album, Another Sort of Someone. Jeff. Introduce you yourself to the folks out there who doesn't know this guy. This guy has his own show. He actually helped me uh, get with this whole TV thing and make the transition from Five Towns College Radio onto TV. So now I can reach more of you guys. So Jeff, let the folks know what you're up to. Thanks. Give me some love. I'm really proud of you, by the way, right, that you're doing this. A lot of people right, who uh, I recommend to do shows public access type shows usually, yeah, 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 you go right in the action, so I really like you getting that done. Uh, well, my show is the Jeff and I Drum Education Show, and I perform, um, the new shows are really cool, they're like revisitations of a lot of the old shows, but you guys can catch them by contacting me if you want one anywhere. <laughs> hey guys, welcome, thanks for tuning in to Karen Fetter's Music Mania TV, I'm here with my very special guest, Mr. Jeff Bindike, who has a show of his own. He actually suggested to me and helped me make my transition. I graduated from Five Towns, so I'm not with their radio program anymore, so I'm making the transition from radio over to TV. I can reach more of you guys this way and all that kind of stuff. So, Jeff Indyke, introduce you yourself and tell them about He has a show, too. Introduce yourself yeah, to these folks who don't well. know. I'm really glad to be here. Thanks, Karen. You know, I was on your radio show. We filmed that, so that was cool. And uh, my show was the Jeff Indyke Drum Education Show. And, uh, you guys can see that. You can get hold of me. I think right what the most important thing, right, if you want to actually see some samples of some of the earlier shows, just go up to YouTube and type in J E F F Space I N D Y K E. And also tell, it was a real honor. Me and Karen did some things over at Five Towns, uh, where I played drums and she played the fives. And uh, where's that? That That's was in the auditorium of Five Towns. I don't know how people find that because I think it's really cool. Oh, on yes. YouTube, yeah, just type in both of our names, Karen Fetter, Jeff Indyke. Yeah. And uh, we got a version of Beat It up there, I think, Michael Jackson. We got a version of uh, Yesterday by the Beatles. It was fantastic. And we did it basically in two takes. And the really cool part about it, right, at least to me, right, is just historically nobody's ever right, really actually played drums and bars. But basically, I want to congratulate you on your show. Thank you so much. Which is really, thanks for doing it because the thing is, I talk, a lot of people come over to me and they say, hey, you know, how you, you know, how can I get a show on? You know, and I, I give me information, but very rarely do they follow through. And I think about you're really uh, very action oriented, and it's really cool because uh, I need to get more motiv motivated by watching you. You really get things done. So this show is about your music, and I haven't heard it. Yes, yeah, so this Go is on. a very special episode. Yeah. This is a first listen to my new album, Another Sort of Someone. Um, I want to thank, before we go into it, we're going to go in and have, the, he hasn't heard like any of this stuff before, so we're going to talk about it. Um, you guys will get to know more about the album this way and get a first listen yourselves. So um, it's exciting. I want to thank Sam Ash for letting us shoot. Yeah. in this very nice facility here. Um, nice. We just did some drum summit clinics for them um, in the area. There was one in Connecticut. I just did one in Edison, New Jersey, so we appreciate their support. Oh. So anyways, let's get into it. Yeah. So the album is called Another Sort of Someone. Um, I don't, 
I, 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 autograph copy. I want, you, we're wearing like the same yeah. shoes, you know that? This anyway. girl is my sister. <laughs> anyway, so um, I guess if I had to describe and put it in like a genre sort of category, it's very radio friendly, um, pop rock alternative, I'd say. Um, you've heard some of my earlier um, recordings and stuff. So that's, that's generally the type of music that I tend to write. So, um, very good feel. You, you sing your horn, you're a great drummer, you're a great musician. Uh, what, you like your vocals are very emotional. I don't understand them all because of my lyricist, but you, you'll hear her voice is just, you don't sound like anybody. I really like that. You're a great drummer. But when you have your number one hit, I'm going to be your drummer. Because you're going to have to be in the front because you're, you know. It's right? true, yeah, it's so true. I got the gig, I hope. I also, I want to let you guys know, we're, I'm kicking off the tour for this album. The, f the show is going to be, um, first show is going to be October 29th at uh, the Crossroads in Garwood, New Jersey. So it's not, it's uh, Saturday, October 29th. And uh, if this is airing after that or you can't make the show, there's going to be more in the tri-state area. So just uh, make sure that you keep in tune with uh, my Facebook page and uh, my website, KarenFetter.com, and get all the information on the upcoming shows. So we're going to turn and listen to the first track off the album. This is called Out of My Head. It's a me, Karen. A one, two, one, two, three, four. at all. I think it's just coming out to Long Island because there's so many like drummers. That's like, especially, you know, with Dom and everything, I think that there's a, there's a lot of double bass guys. And the heavier guys, who's that, that, that guy uh, in Dream Theater? Oh, Mike Portnoy. Yeah, Mike yeah. Portnoy, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, um, thing, I think just coming out to Long Island kind of got me more interested in the double bass because I was, you know, my, my big thing with Buddy Rich and stuff like that, uh, I got a book coming out on uh, yeah. Buddy Rich's uh, life and technique, uh, and uh, you know influences like him. And yeah. But I never heard you. I don't know. I, you, you yeah, I think that's that's the only track on the album that I use double bass drum for. It's cool, because you just use yeah. it in that one place. It's well, really you know, obvious, because yeah. the the bass and the guitar is going. Da -na 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 -na, da -na 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 yeah, that was a good practice. I'm fast with fetter, baby. <laughs> you know, if you're a good tap dancer, which I am, don't tell anybody. But uh, <laughs> oh, I'm actually a hard to dancer. You can kind of do that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, I like the words, you know. Uh, so I guess why you were a little annoyed, so you need to use that word too. Sometimes, yeah. By the way, right? Sometimes, right? It's cool. How do you feel right about the use of those words, is that just doing from emotion? I don't, it, most of my stuff doesn't have no, naughty words that. in it. I never heard that Most before. of my stuff doesn't have naughty words in it, it's just, um, yeah, it must th be, you this know, is I'm like, this is kind of like a sky -ish sort of influence with the trumpets and stuff like that, and really you know, nice. it's, it's just kind of let it all hang out, so I, I let it all hang out. But very catchy, know. I think, but it'll be on the, the radio. Yeah, in other words, I kind of 
uh, I only heard this twice, and I'm already like, out of my head, you know, you kind of have that feel. I don't know, it reminds me, it reminds me of yo. That was right on pitch, you know, drummers actually do have the sense oh, well, of I'm pitch, a, you know. Well, I'm a writer of music, that's so I kind of hear it, like, out of my head, but yeah. Now I heard that one, yeah, let's go. go now did you the song is called My Hero or Not. It's a great So she she wrote it. We 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 actually wrote this song years ago, and then we finally got a chance to record it years later. That's how things work sometimes. But um, what had happened was she got teased by some girl in middle school. You you guys remember your middle school years, I'm sure. The girls can be cats, and uh, no, no, so that sounded more like a tiger to me. <laughs> and okay, so so she 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 kind of got teased <laughs> by this one girl and then years later when they got into I guess that was around middle school or early high school and years later um when she I think it was like our freshman year over at a uh, TCNJ the college in New Jersey which by the way is the same school that Dan Britt went to um she got she 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 got a friend request on Facebook from this girl and it was bizarre because this girl had like turned on her and been so mean to her and then years later out of nowhere she's asking her to be your friend on Facebook, you know? So that was, that's actually the background of that song is she, she didn't, she didn't approve her and she didn't message her or anything. She just like didn't contact her back at all and she wrote the song about her feelings about you, you could have been a hero, you could have been a friend and you didn't. So you just, she just, that girl just went along with the crowd who was giving her a hard time, so. Really cool, but you're very explosive when you feel. You know, they'll, they'll just kind of come in and well, the they, the dynamic. The they one, just explode. The one thing about that one is like uh, the, the pre chorus. I just want to show mm -hmm. your face in the dirt. 5 6 1 is that big, that big bass drum right before the chorus. Is that what you're doing that crazy thing? No, that's like, just bass drum alone. You can use like a third, like nice, kind of almost like a heavy metal Tony Williams. Really great. Um, you got influence from him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you're a really good drummer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like Tony Williams. Well, Cindy Blackman always credits him a lot, too. Totally. Yeah. Same with Terry Silver, like yeah. my hero. He's, you know, we should talk about him sometime. That'd be cool. I'd like to meet him. Really be cool. Yeah. All right, number three? Yeah. Number three. What's this called? <laughs> This is called This House in the Home. And we will be playing this at the show October 29th and our other show. I can't see this song. I'm losing this dream. 